trying to get ready with kids, I tell ya. You boys will be teenagers soon and not kids and you'll be on to it, eh? Where's the bit shit? has been pissing down all day and we're meant to get some squalls so it might be a bit of a wet trip going up but we just saw bugger it, eh lads? Yep. Rain, hail or shine, we're gonna go hunting. I'm not super keen to get wet and cold. Off to work. Get in the gate. Get in the gate. Get in the gate, you mongrel. Go on, get in the gate. Pussing down. I'm glad we motivated to come up here. Ah, oh, bloody sand. I was hoping for a nice grass clearing, but this will do. Beggars can't be choosers. Glad it's not pissing down, it's just a light drizzle now. It's gonna be such a good night for hunting. Such a good night. We're just gonna it's gonna be shooting there and there's gonna be massive poles of there, just pile them up. Sweet, yep, corner each boys. Let's do a dead man stake here, Char. And we're just gonna bury the stick on its side and tie the line to it. That's it, nice. Sweet, dead man steak. How to make your steak stronger. This is called a triple steak thingy. See that, it's a bit loose. That might pull out, so if we tie another string from the top of that, going down to there, it'll make it stronger. We can even put another steak back there and put another string from the top of that to the other steak. Give us one more steak, boys. Gonna row downstream around the corner so we don't make any noise with the engine and just stout our way down the clearings. Hopefully, we'll shoot a couple of deer. Shot. Nice, he pole axed it. 
Have you missed it? He's over there. He's dead. He's a good listener on North Maintenance Charlie's nice and Galantes. He was the one that shot him that was talking at the other day. A bit of a shush out and got dead. Them. Holy crap, that took ages, eh? That took ages. We were actually looking for them further down. We saw them take off to the right, yeah. and we were looking for them further down the uh, down the clearing there. I actually shot another one thinking it was him. We come round and seen the two eyes down low. I thought, oh, he's injured. He's going to get away and smoke the other one. Then that other one only had one bullet hole. So we thought, oh, that's not Don's one. So we came back up and kept looking. I actually went back to the logs that he shot from and got the boys to stand down the clearing and that's how I figured out we were too far down the clearing. So we've come back up, we didn't see any blood, we just actually stumbled across them. Drag them out here boys, let's see where you pegged them. Oh, it's another young hind, is it? Bugger, I thought it was a valvety. There's not blood up here. Nothing around here. Oh, there's a little bit of blood. Is that the bullet? That's the bullet. Is it? Like it's a knife. It might have been on the other side and then... It must, yeah, the it must have been a bit far back in the guts, mate. Still, you got it. That's why there was no blood, because there was no exit wound. No blood at all, eh? Wow. On that smoked him. Oh, yeah. Oh, right there? Yeah. Right good there. shot, mate. Real good shot. Nice. I wonder what that is on the other side. It might be the bullet. It might have ended up in no, there. No, yeah. It could be yeah. a second bullet. It might have deflected. I think the bullet came from this way, came through hit, Went up here. And ended up right there. You reckon he was yeah. quartering on to us, was he? Yeah, I reckon he was quartering on. Oh, let's find that lump and cut it out, see if it's a bullet. <clears throat> Get that gun out of the way. Good. That knife's razor sharp. Don't blunt on it. It is a bullet. Don't, don't cut the bullet, cut around it. Well, wow, that's cool. Look at that. Can you keep this one? Yeah. Wow, that's real mm. awesome. I've got the shell and the bloody tip. Look at that. That's neat, eh? Hey? I knew it was quadrangle. How did it mushroom? Mushroom pretty good, didn't it? Yeah. yeah well, let's get into the Well, that was a cracker shot. Photo. Well done. Yeah. 
This is pretty good clearing here. We should try to get the other two track shots. Uh, velvety stags actually turned into a hind. I don't know how that happened. I didn't. Th I knew it wasn't a stag. Yet. Uh, didn't I you say it was a spiker? It might be slightly gut shot. So I'm just going to wipe the guts it out real quick. Give neighbor. the boys a gutting lesson, and I uh, might even shoot a possum with a 22. See how we go. Look at that lung shot. Good shot, mate. Mm -hmm. Tired, bro. Me a late night. Better get the. Uh, the Garmin Explorer out and let Kristen know we're okay. First swift bit done. Move down a bit boy so I can come over those rocks. Good work lads, keep going. Good work lads, a <laughs> solid effort. Well done. We still got to get back, light a fire, have dinner. Set the tents up. Yeah, it's going to be a long night. Holy moly, made it. That was a mission and a half on it. Hey, well, should we get the fire going? Yep. What do you boys want to do? Set the tent up, I guess, eh? Right. Yeah, I'll go start the fire while you boys set the tent up, eh? I have to set my bloody tent up too. Sweet little tent this one, super quick and easy to put up. How's it going there lads? Slowly getting it done and get some dinner on the go. Delicious. Not so nutritious. Oh, nicely toasted. Ah, oh, nice go. What? You already said goodnight like three times. Night. Wake up! Wake up!
Let's grab your torch at that end. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Breakfast of champions because we're champions and we're having breakfast. Better go get those deer soon, they'll be cooking in the sun. It's hot, isn't it? Mm. It's gonna piss down tonight, yeah. otherwise, we'd stay up here another day. Yep, great tent, the Armadillo 1.5. It is small though, it's really only a one person tent. Well, 1.5 man and dog, I guess. The thing I don't like about it is that the vestibule is very small. So I suggest getting one of the Stony Creek Stealth Flies to put over the top of your tent. That way, when you're getting in and out of your tent, when it's hammering down with rain, you don't get all your stuff wet. But apart from that, it's just it's fantastic. We've had it in some pretty atrocious weather and it's held up really good the support bits on the side i thought were a weak point but they've been really strong and we've had it side on and uh blustering southerlies up in the zora in the head of the landsborough side on to the wind i actually did that on purpose to see if it would tear the bits but it held real good in fact it was just as good as the 1500 dollar hilleberg tent Pretty impressive. Anyway, the Stony Creek Armadillo 1.5. Still testing, I've had it about a year and a half now. Been hammering the shit out of it, it's getting quite sun faded. But it's, yeah, it's still good, still going strong. It's really, really quick to pitch, that's what I like about it. Quick to pitch, quick to take down. You can set it up as just a fly, or you can have the fly in the internal tent as well. So, uh, yeah, it's a great piece of kit. Oh, it's in there good, eh? Good times are rolling. Day number two, let's go get him eh boys. number three and then you've got to kind of roll over on your hands and knees once it's on there get it right on your shoulders bro okay. 
can't roll off my hands and knees if I get it on my shoulders here. There you go. Right there and then right. No, I can't get up. <laughs> give me a hand. Hand, like this. Hand, give me a hand. Ready? Lift them, boys. Lift them. Lift. One, two, three. Go, son. My range. Don't slip, be careful. No, I'm in my range, Dad. Oh, your phone's there. Oh, is it? Grab my phone, Hamish? Yeah. Good spotting, Charlie. Shot. Good work. Gonna, gonna possum show the boys how to do it. These fellas might as well watch, too. It's been a while. Bloody flies got on the deer, so we have to cut it up now and bag it. It's been a long day. Oh, where's this one go? Where's your bone, Ziggy? Hey? Where's your bone, mate? How you doing, lads? Imagine if Mike got one of those. Good work. I've had enough cutting up boys are taking over. Cutting up all day, it's bloody five o'clock. <laughs> We're going since six o'clock this morning, far out. <sighs> Long down the job. Head down, down, down. 
Uh, yes, I remember the day. No idea what to do, just hacking to tear the bits. That's kind of how I roll still, actually. Good work, bro. Mm -hmm. Outstanding. I can't believe none of you guys have cut yourself. They haven't cut themselves yet. Does that nice and sharp mean that's a blunt one, eh? We'll get your sharp one. I know, it's looking alright. Trying to get out of the house. Hey. Date night. We haven't been on date night in probably 10 years. Well. I've actually forgotten how to date. Kristen's been frantically cleaning. And she's vacuumed three times. She's done the dishes twice. And then she vacuumed again just to make sure that the house was spotless for grandma. Pretty spotless. Good day, mates. Still in the loser cruiser because Tower still hasn't sorted the insurance out. It's been I don't know how long it's been. What's the date today? It is the. It is the. Eight. There's been a month. It's been a month now and I still haven't figured it out. Alright, at least I've got a car. Just looked at Kristen's Christmas shopping list and right at the top it said Josh, walk. No, I meant like walk to the shop. Am I getting a walk for Christmas? Oh, here we go. That's cheap. Compact hatch automatic. Stop it! You ate all the pie. No, you ate half the pie. Kristen ate all the pies. Look at your beard. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got no pie on my bed. No pie face. Are you not even going to share? Well, She's bad. not even going to share. Come on. Yeah. See, that's why I married you, dear. Straight to the fishing section for Christmas. Oh, she wasn't looking at the fishing section. You put it to it and then it would shit them out and then you'd scoop it out of the diaper and put it back in the mold and feed it to them again. You'd what, sorry? They so it was a baby alive and you had like Play-Doh and you'd make it into noodles and then feed them and then it would shit it out into a diaper and then you empty the diaper out and make them their food again. And Let's not get a baby alive for anyone. I just want to go to the hotel and have rooties and then go out for dinner and have more rooties. Not go shopping. It's like the awkward dating stage where you have to take her out for dinner for 10 times. Buy flowers. In my case, I have to walk around shopping malls for days on end. Old Spice body wash can't block odor for 16 hours. What? This one does, dummy. It's super powerful odor blocker body wash. Oh! Nothing but the best for my Kristen. And look at the view. Spa bath. Oh, it's a big bath. It's huge. It's deep. I don't even like that, so you'll have to use it. I'm going undercover, you see, so people don't hound me. Some guy recognised me before and was yelling at me, and we just ignored him. That guy in that car. Oh, he wanted to bum a smoke. <laughs> Bro, got any smokes? <laughs> Is that all he wanted? <laughs> Cheers. Do you want a video of me? Then you don't have to be in the video. Kristen doesn't like being on film. Neither do I. Neither does anyone. I'm going to video her anyway. What is that? What's it called? That's... I don't know, fried chicken. It's the fried chicken. Apparently it won some award. So we got the fried chicken and the tobacco squid. Why do they call it tobacco squid? Is that a kind of squid? Or is it cooked in tobacco? Thank you. Mm. God, I love squid. I'm moving up north for six weeks of summer. 
Dickett, Squid and Marlon. Kristen might come. Who knows? She's just got to get a woofer to come live in the house. Oh, that is good. They are both so, so good. Makes me want to move to Mexico. Kristen's smashing the food. Oh, I'm hungry. Smashing it. It's so good. Our plan is to just cruise around. Plan is to cruise around and just have entrees at this place and then the other place. And then another place. Thank you. It's real good. What was that place called? Ch Chiquitas or something? Chihuahuas? Highly recommended. You have to be awfully successful to eat there because it's bloody expensive. But it was good. I mean, I'm actually full from the entrees. I'm just going to keep eating because I can. But we're going to feed these trout and the eels now with the food that we don't actually have. Oh, look at that monster trout. Don't you know Little bugger. I'm gonna climb these stairs, go in the tight pants. <laughs> Kristen's not used to wearing high heels and tight pants. We're tourists. I don't know what's going on in the big city these days, but I, I think the fashion designers have got it wrong somewhere along the line. Uh, you guys vote. Which is your preferred outfit? The one I'm wearing or the one these other jokers are wearing? Who looks best here? Kristen or these other girls? Would you rather see a girl wearing what Kristen's wearing or what these ladies are wearing? I don't actually know what's going on here, but when I've got my rod and my gun, I don't wear a pink polo shirt. And my sister's pants. Oh, look at these old jokers, they're not wearing pink polo shirts. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie wants to play basketball and he wants a basketball shirt for Christmas. And I said, do you want Michael Jordan or Magic Johnson? Michael Jordan or Magic Johnson, and he said, what, Magic Mike or Michael Jackson? Michael Jordan, okay. Kids, eh? <laughs> Moochie. I think we're going to get some naughty dessert. Santa's scorched armor. Mrs. Claus. Pokey tokey pokey. Zach must have weed in it, that one. No cow chocolate. I'm going to go with the naughty owl. It's got seven different spices. He's not telling us what. He said cardamom and ginger, so that's good enough for me. Uh, some what, sorry? Yeah, yeah, yes, please. I don't hear what he said. What did he say? Do you want chocolate? Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. What? You're complaining about the $6 ice cream. No, I was going to say something else, but I can't say it on camera. I'll tell you fellas what she said later on. She said lots of sissy men are turning gay. You cannot do that. I just did it. You it. wouldn't read about it, but you can see it right here. No, I'm not going to talk to you about it. What? Right. You can't do that. I don't have a problem with it. I just think it's funny. Oh. Yeah. Let's, have a, let's have a general vote. Am I allowed to say naughty stuff like that? No. I'm eating naughty alf ice cream. I can say naughty stuff. Yeah, she's threatened that before. What was that place that was 
the Rollican Gelato Cafe. That was ice cream though, it wasn't even real gelato. Not that I know what real gelato is, but I... Uh, I mean, golly gosh, it was good though. I had that exact outfit in 1994. What, that one? That's pretty neat, isn't it? Did you know in Hokitika that the dairy factory pumps out 12 and a half million litres of crap out of the factory every single day? 12 and a half million litres of polluted crap into the Hokitika River every day. Well, that was a great night out. Great night out in Christchurch. <laughs> Didn't even make it to dark. We're going to pack and save to get some snacks and then we're going to go back to the hotel and I don't know what we're going to do. Watch television, maybe? Look at trucks, might buy a finance a Hilux tomorrow, we'll see. We got sidetracked. First time in 15 years, Kristen's ever beat me at a game of pool. Just then, you guys missed it. Unfortunately. And I went on a bank shot. Oh, she went on a bank shot. She doubled it in. <laughs> We're getting tasty kombucha from the kombucha girls. Girl, the other girl's not here today. She's out buying Christmas decorations. And uh, we've also decided to get a, what did we get? Dumplings. And we've chosen the Fajoa kombucha today. Fajoa. Thank you. And, oh, and it comes in a glass. Look at that. Riverside Markets. Look, they put it in a little bottle. Almost big enough for a pee bottle when you're camping. Thank you, ma'am. awesome. Thank you. Very, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So now we've got to get our delicious uh, oh, trucks. We're looking at vehicles. I don't bloody know. We're just going to finance one. Tick it up. We're down to a 2012 or a 2016 because I can't justify. Probably can't really afford a brand new one. Got better things to spend my money on like petrol and food. Look at those tasty treats. Mm. Wouldn't that be nice, eh? Unfortunately, you can't really afford one of those ones, so I'm going for 2012 Toyota Hilux. Okay. This is the Sun Market on Blenheim Road. It's, it's awesome. Crazy Dave's just down the road there. Here, I gotta go and Kristen got some hula hoop. <laughs> Finally, I've got a Hilux. I've wanted a Hilux for years. Is that a camera? What, what are we um, up to today, mate? Um, we dropped down a Christmas tree. How do you like the new truck, lads? Good. I was beatboxing. It's an automatic, though. First time I've ever owned, owned an automatic. Perfect. We're just going to get one right off the side of the road. Isn't Dad going to go to jail if we, if we cut down one of those trees? Maybe. No, I'm not going to go to jail. They're not going to log this because it's right on the side of the road. The Ministry of Works is actually going to cut it down because it's about to fall on the road by the looks of it. No, climb up it. Chuck's the saw. If you climb up, and I'll pass you the saw. Branch snaps and somebody falls. Yeah, I just got what was just fall. Damn it, fell off all of a sudden. I didn't get a shot of the tree toppling down. Oh well. Why don't we keep the other half? That was a pretty good heist, wasn't it, team? Good! Yeah. Christmas. Hey guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make, how to make your crawly trap out of this. So you just get a juice bottle, drink all the juice out of it. Got some. Um, zip ties. Zip, what you'll need is zip ties, tape. Uh, electrical tape, and, and a knife. Well, we just got this kit. This, this one. Yep. And first of all, what you need to do is get your marker. You get a marker and you like outline around the bottom where you want to cut. And then what you do 
is you'll cut around that outline. So it's about about there on the bottle where it sort of gets a wee bit thicker. What you do is you just slot it in and it should look like that. Stab some holes in there. Just big enough for your zip ties to go through. I just need to do it again a wee bit bigger. You get your zip ties. On this video we're going to be using this for cockabullies actually. And you're going to get your electrical tape. Charlie. And Put your meat in the middle there, down there. How nice. Nice wet helmet. Ugh. Oh, guess what we're doing? We are in fact going to set that trap. I showed you how to make before. Just come to pick up Dom. Hey guys, as you saw, we caught some cockleboys in. That trap always works. Most time, just put it in a spot where there's some cockleboys, and you should catch some. Old Spice Order Blocker Body Wash has 16 hours of BO blocking power! That's right. Sure smells good in here. That's because this block's B.O. Sorry. Sorry about that. B -b 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 Power! Old Spice Odor Blocker Body Wash! Black! 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 Body wash is so powerful it can block BO for 16 hours. It's so powerful it can turn off the sun, but then it gets too cold, so it makes another sun. Double sun power! B -b 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 power! Old Spice Odor Blocker Body Wash is so powerful it can block BO for 16 hours. It's blocking power is as powerful as me. Yeah, it is. Who said that? Is that my left bicep? No, it was my abdominals. Body wash is too powerful to let this commercial in. Block! Building kick! <laughs>